Um, okay, so first, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, I'm here today to talk about the problem we had uh, when we set up uh, centralized authentication for the Magia project. So first, mm. oh, shit. Okay, yeah. So first, uh, my name is uh, Michael Charin. I'm one of uh, the members of the uh, system administration uh, team of uh, the project. And um, And uh, so, uh, for people who were not there uh, one hour ago, we are rather uh, we are using Puppet for everything. So uh, Puppet is an open source tool to ch to take care of the configuration. And as I said, it, this is not a word fetish. Uh, so, uh, does everybody here know what is the Magia project? Just uh, raise your hand if you do. Okay. So, for those that don't, didn't press your hand, I would like to uh, quickly explain. So uh, this is uh, basically a Mondriva fork. Mondriva was a Linux distribution. Well, still is a, a Linux distribution, which started uh, 10 years ago. And uh, last year, there were had some uh, financial problems. So we decided to uh, fork it so we can uh, keep uh, the project uh, running. And um, everything uh, we did was based on uh, our experience as a Mondriva uh, contributor and Mondriva employee. And so uh, first, when the infrastructure of um, the Montreal project was created, it was using uh, NIS. So, so for people who are old enough, uh, NIS is a system used on uh, Unix, like uh, Solaris, like uh, HPVX, to have a shared account to database. It was used only for the small uh, cluster of uh, five uh, computers. And uh, it was using, um, it we were also offering various services, such as a forum, a bugzilla, um, something for uh, the customer to enter accident, for people to buy a gift and stuff like that, uh, which were uh, obviously uh, using a separate account database. So someone wanting to complain on the form had to open an account. Then people were starting to say, oh, you need to open a bug, then a second account. And then we say, oh, this is a corporate product, so you have to open an incident, so a third account. And then finally, once people are happy and want to buy a CD or something like that, it's a fourth account. So obviously, this uh, causes uh, various uh, trouble that we'll uh, detail uh, right now. So the first and the obvious one is people forget their password. All the time, especially if you have uh, lots of passwords, you keep forgetting, or you use the same uh, one, two, three, six, uh, and so on that everybody uses, and it's not secure, which is the first problem. The second problem is people who forget their login. So obviously, since there is a separate database, there is uh, some uh, logins that are not available everywhere. So as long as you cannot have the same one, it's become uh, problematic. People forget how to retrieve the password, which is also a problem, since you have a different, different uh, way to get it. Then you have to search, and first you reset the password. This is not the good one, and so on. And uh, finally, the most appalling one is uh, when admin forget how to retrieve password for user, because there is uh, 10 different procedures, and we are admin, and we prefer to do nothing than uh, read documentation or write documentation. Then uh, there is a uh, lot of problem. And uh, finally, uh, on a more pragmatic uh, level, there is no system-wide ACL. So if someone is said, OK, you are admin, you need to go to 10 different uh, databases and say, this person is admin, this person is admin, this person is admin. And uh, this is uh, really uh, problematic, especially when uh, someone is leaving. So you need to say, this person is not admin, and so on. And it led to uh, lots of uh, security holes. For example, I no longer contribute to Mondriva, but I'm still able to do lots of uh, nasty stuff since I'm still uh, an admin. And I know other people who are like this, and who are not listening to me and uh, using their laptop at the moment. And so, uh, well, uh, we wanted to solve uh, the problem, and the first attempt was to use uh, LDAP and a custom uh, database called uh, MyModriva. So some people may have uh, heard it. And, uh, well, it was uh, still too complex, uh, mainly because uh, it was uh, two accounts instead of uh, 1,000, but that's still uh, Two accounts. It was uh, complex because uh, we had to write the software by yourself, which was uh, needing a lot of uh, 
manpower because we had to rediscover everything like uh, doing stuff securely, doing stuff uh, easy to use when people are, have already solved the problem like one million times. So uh, this was the situation uh, just before the fork. And then uh, we did a fork. Since uh, we were the one uh, running away from the infrastructure, we had to start from scratch, which was nice. I think uh, we didn't have to support all the crop that was uh, done uh, since 10 years, and we had to start our own crop, which is uh, nice. So at the time, we people tend to think that we planned everything, that we really think about it, and it was not the case. We almost decided uh, one day, and the next day the fork started. So we had to think uh, fast and to decide what to do. So we can uh, have done it uh, Fedora style. So Fedora is using a uh, custom DB, and uh, they are writing adapter for that uh, everywhere which is uh, quite uh, interesting because you have uh, the total control of what you store and how you store. And uh, the problem is uh, there is lots of code that you have to take care of by yourself, which means that uh, instead of uh, discussing on IRC, you need to uh, write code, to debug it, and so on. So it was not really good. So we could have done uh, like uh, OpenSUSE wanted to do, but uh, that's what they said they would do, but they didn't do it. And I use uh, OpenID. So uh, for people that do not know, OpenID is uh, some kind of uh, standard to delegate authentication, which is nice because you can use it on an external website. External website means usually less to work for admin because someone else is doing the work. But uh, the problem is uh, only authentication, and uh, it's not supported everywhere. For example, you cannot use it on Facebook, on Twitter, and stuff like that. And yet there is a demand. And uh, it's harder than login password because first you have to give a URL. So usually people, normal users, do not like to give that. And you still have to give a login password. So instead of uh, forgetting login password, people can forget the URL, the login, and the password, which is not really what we want to achieve. And uh, finally, we uh, have uh, the unique style as we are doing at my uh, day job, which is basically uh, LDAP. NIS nice and Kerberos. So as I said, uh, NIS nice is too old, completely deprecated, and uh, there is a various problem. Uh, Kerberos was not suitable for a system uh, based on uh, the web and so on, because people have to use, uh, to set up Kerberos on their uh, computer and stuff like that. And uh, finally, the only things we, yep, we could uh, use is uh, LDAP, which was a perfect match. So because uh, this is a standard, this is well-known, uh, we do not have to train people. Usually they can uh, train themselves or at least be trained by their job or something else, which is uh, better for us. Uh, everything that we work can be pushed upstream. So every code we write will be shared and uh, will be taken care of by someone else than us, which is also a goal for us. And uh, this is secured, usually, when done uh, properly, of course, and this is documented because uh, it's a well-known uh, standard. There is lots of documentation, not a good one. I'm not saying that. And uh, so finally, we decided to use uh, LDAP. So uh, we didn't really add the choice uh, about the server. It's uh, either OpenLDAP or uh, the server from Red Hat. And uh, OpenLDAP was packaged. And uh, the Red Hat uh, directory server was not, so it was easy. Uh, it's a small setup. We, are, we have only uh, 10 computers, so we have uh, one master and two replica in case of a problem in uh, the master. So far, we are uh, lucky because we didn't have to test if it works, because maybe if the master is down, nothing works, but thanks God. Uh, yeah, a question? Why not multi-master? Why not multi-master? Because we are lazy, and uh, if people want to provide patch, they can. We are publishing the Puppet configuration for that, and uh, so far it works. So we have uh, more urgent things to do, like uh, doing uh, conferences and stuff like that. So regarding the world setup, uh, since uh, we wanted to have a secure system, we wanted to be able to say uh, this uh, application was uh, act, we need to disable it. So instead of having uh, one uh, password and distribute it on every services, we have one password per server and per services 
So if someone uh, gets access to Bugzilla, we can uh, disable this password without having to change everywhere without disruption. And um, mm, the main problem we had was uh, to need uh, for an admin interface because it's nice to have a database for account, but uh, someone had to create the account. And uh, if possible, if the user can create their account without asking to us, it's better for us. Again, uh, we want to be able to do something else, like a uh, writing slide for presentation. So for that, uh, the main problem we had is that the, it's a very specific niche, uh, especially since uh, usually in a company, you do not need that. You have a sysadmin that can do the job. There is no thing like uh, people come in the company, create their own contract, and then uh, they engage themselves. So there were really lots of uh, software for doing that, but mainly from a uh, free software project. There is uh, identity from KDE. There is no Mongo. There is a Fedora account database and stuff like that. But usually it was not uh, designed for being re reusable outside of the project. So it needed uh, lots of uh, customization. So we did what we didn't want to do. Uh, we wrote a web interface in Catalyst because the uh, sysadmin who proposed that was a pearl guy, which was not a bad choice, at least uh, from my point of view, uh, because he was uh, against uh, PHP, because with PHP, the only way to change your password and follow LDAP standard is to use Perl. There is uh, some uh, article on that. So really, do not use PHP. And uh, yeah, the main problem is uh, sysadmin are not coder, so the code is not exactly clean, and the uh, coder are not designer, and sysadmin are not designer either, so the code is not really so clean, and the web interface could benefit from a little cleaning, like uh, being rewritten from scratch, so I've started to do that. So there is a stuff that are not a little bit pretty, and there is stuff that I didn't touch, where the form are not uh, aligned and stuff like that. So uh, just to say, don't do that. If you need to create your own project, and uh, if you really want to do it, first don't do that. And then try to reuse something. There is a fusion inventory. There is lots of projects that are much better than doing your own stuff. And um, really, I think it seems easy. It is not. Um, it is not because there is a uh, lot of stuff to take in account. For example, the UTF-8. Uh, people tend to have uh, non ASCII uh, character in their name, especially when you go outside of the USA and England. There is also uh, weird stuff uh, with name. Some people uh, do not have a first name and a surname. Some people have uh, only one name, stuff like that. So if you try to use a first name, last name, it may not work. Uh, there is a lot of, uh, lot of problem uh, for various administration about that when you need to give uh, your first name, and there is uh, no place for uh, putting a space of, uh, of stuff uh, like uh, forbidden uh, characters. We had the problem. We wanted to be uh, rather uh, secure, so we only used the uh, first letters, and people complained about uh, not having uh, the dash, and so on, and so on. So uh, it's rather tricky to get it right. So we likely not get it right. We still didn't, and uh, it's been like uh, one uh, year and a half. And um, for testing, we do have uh, two instances. There is uh, one which is uh, stable, and there is one which is a uh, trunk, where we try to change some stuff, and we say to people, if you need to do something, try to use it. So basically, we trick uh, our user as a uh, QA people, and uh, when they complain, we say, you can go back to the stable uh, version, and if they find a bug in both, then uh, we are in trouble, but so far, that's not a problem. And uh, the main... Uh, the main interest of my uh, conference was uh, all the problem we had with the, with the implication application. So we can uh, divide them in uh, basically three uh, categories. So uh, please uh, do not log too much. So there is a good one. Uh, the good one is uh, tools that fully support. You mean uh, you install it, it works. There is no problem. For example, there is uh, everything around Apache, which is basically using uh, LDAP without any plugin, well, without a module, but distributed with Apache. You can use a login password, you can restrict by group. There is uh, 
module for Django, which is doing everything, which will be syncing the database from uh, Django with LD API and so on. There is everything about around SSHDD. So that's uh, the good part. And uh, usually you deploy that and you say, oh, it's so easy. Why didn't I do it sooner and stuff like that? And then uh, appears the, the bad. So the bad, it's uh, everything that do not support it yet because uh, obviously someone has to do the job and usually it's you. So for example, it's a uh, mailman. Mailman had some uh, integration, but was not so great. Uh, Moon Moon, which is a software for Planet, which has uh, no integration with uh, LDAP. And uh, there is MySQL. Even if I think uh, MySQL since has been able to uh, plug uh, the account database on LDAP, which means that you can uh, say uh, some people like, uh, let's say a forum admin can uh, directly connect to MySQL and uh, fiddle with the database. So far we do not do it, but if we need to do it, it will be done like this. And uh, there is, a, so you have the two choice, either you switch, for example, we do not use MySQL, or you add support, and uh, so far we didn't uh, do that, because it's a lot of work, and uh, as I said, the app can be tricky. And uh, there is a third type of application, which uh, is uh, the hub list. So they support the app, so you say, oh, great, Let's try, and uh, it doesn't work as you want. For example, there is a MediaWiki. So MediaWiki supports LDAP, it's great. There is a plugin and so on, except you cannot have an underscore in the login. So that's bad because we have uh, some people that are using this and that uh, they need to create a second account which defeats the whole uh, idea of a centralized account for everything. And uh, I think there is, uh, it's quite tricky to fix because it's directly a limitation of MediaWiki. There is uh, stuff like uh, SAPA, which we try to use instead of a uh, mailman. And uh, SAPA, that's the problem is everything is stored as email. So when someone uh, uses a login, it's translated to email, and then the email is stored in SAPA database. So when someone wants to change the email, admin need to uh, change it by end, which is uh, a pain. The web interface can be bypassed, so you set up LDAP authentication and people can just decide to not use it, which can cause a uh, lot of uh, problems. And uh, the integration is complex since uh, there is uh, four different uh, functions to integrate with uh, LDAP, some supporting uh, some type of group and uh, some not supporting everything. So you need to uh, to place the same configuration everywhere, and uh, it's not really coherent. And uh, the problem is then you start to look at the source code, why it works this way, and really don't do it. It's, it's not something that you should do it uh, at all. I mean, I prefer to, to do Windows system administration than reading again the SAPA source code. And uh, there is a... Uh, oh, Mm -hmm. We had some problem with uh, PHP VB because uh, PHP do not sync uh, group at all. So we created a group for uh, forum, for, for example, for packagers, for sysadmin, so that the, everything can be displayed in your uh, profile. And uh, you just need to sync everything by end, which is uh, something we do not do. So basically, it's useless. And uh, there is a bugzilla. A bugzilla that suffers from the same problem from uh, from uh, Sampa. Uh, your everything is done by email, so you have, uh, which is problematic because you have to protect the LDAP database. So uh, email are not sent in the wild, but you also have to do it for the bugzilla database. We wanted to, for example, to provide the whole database of bugs as a download downloadable archive, so people who want to fork or own fork can do it. But uh, we can because there is email everywhere, and uh, that's something that we do not want to do for uh, privacy reasons. This and some uh, laws in the European Union, which prevent us to do that. And uh, so one tip that could uh, save uh, some time to people is that everything supports multiple backends by default. I mean, it's never written anywhere. But if you give true LDAP server to something using uh, open LDAP, it will do the right thing by default, which is not documented, but that's nice. 
And uh, finally, uh, what we are planning to do. So first, uh, we want it. Uh, we have uh, decided that people tend to forget their login, as I said. So the idea is to be able to give your email, and it will be uh, converted to a login, and then you will have uh, something, uh, one less thing to remember. The last thing is to get rid of password, but it's tricky. So, for example, someone will use uh, the email to log on the on Bugzilla or on Tapa or TransEffect or anything, and it will be automatically automatically use any of the email he gave us in LDAP, which means uh, which is much uh, easier in my own opinion. Mm, we wanted to add an open ID provider, which was asked by uh, several people, so they can uh, comment on blog and stuff like that, which is uh, easy to do, but uh, no one has done it. So if you feel like uh, if you have an afternoon to do some code, uh, we will be glad to accept a patch or to help you. We wanted to have a delegation. As I said uh, in the previous conference, uh, we do no delegation, which is bad, because uh, the same people are uh, doing uh, the work and uh, what we want to do is no work. So the first step uh, would be to be able to uh, someone who is uh, taking care of uh, the packaging team to say, okay, this guy, I want to promote it as a full-time packager to be able to say to do that without asking to a sysadmin admin to do the job, which is usually just uh, one, uh, one, one uh, checkbox to click, which is uh, rather easy, but uh, again, that's still uh, too much work for us. And uh, we wanted to plug everything on it. So far, there is some services that are not uh, that are not uh, plugged on it. For example, the blog, uh, WordPress can be used with LDAP, which could help us. Because right now we need to have uh, I forgot my uh, password to uh, the blog, so I cannot post anything, and I'm uh, too lazy to reset my password. Sorry. Speak up. Uh, okay, I will take it like this. Easier. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, the same uh, goes for Planet. Uh, right now, uh, I think it's not plugged on LDAP, so that this can be problematic if someone needs to uh, to change a feed or something like that. And uh, finally, what we will uh, need is to add uh, more information in the schema. Uh, for example, we wanted to have a list of uh, where people do live, so we can uh, do events and stuff like that. And uh, for that, the default schema are not working, so everybody create a separate schema, which is uh, nice, but usually we will have to do the same. So we we'll have to fork the schema of someone else or change some stuff. Uh, we already did ask for a number, a new, uh, new ID at uh, the Ghana, I think. So we can uh, create one uh, cleanly. And uh, so far, we still uh, didn't do anything, but it will give us the freedom to uh, store what we want in the LDAP. And uh, I think uh, that's all for my uh, presentation. I was uh, planning to be uh, maybe a little bit uh, slower, but uh, <laughs> I didn't. So if you have any uh, question, uh, even a uh, question not related to the talk, I will be happy to answer to anything. Don't be shy, I will not hate anybody. No? Yeah? Networking. Okay, uh, so you had chose to rewrite um, a tool for managing um, a tree. Yeah. Uh, you didn't, uh, um, 
I don't really understand why uh, the administration didn't want to use a PHP interface, like Gozatu or um, the directory. In fact, it was uh, related to the exop operation, I think, and uh, it was not possible to say you need to change your password and to have the PHP interface to react to that. It just wasn't supported. Uh, I do not have the details. Uh, the primary reason was he was also working on this tool since a uh, few months because uh, we had uh, something operational in three days. So it's uh, rather fast, so I think he was working before on it. But uh, I think you should, uh, I can, if you give me your email, I can uh, give you the email of the guy who did that, who can explain the problem. I think it may have been solved since that because uh, there is no reason. But uh, yeah, basically it was for that, for some uh, specific reason regarding LDAP support. Maybe it has been fixed, really, but I'm not that fond of PHP, so I was not against doing it in Perl. Yeah, because you, you can't modify passwords through a PHP interface, uh, because a uh, modified password is just to uh, make uh, an amplify operation. Yeah, you modify, are not obliged yes. to do exact, exact uh, The problem is when your password is expired, I'm not a uh, LDAP expert, so Please, uh, if I did something wrong, uh, just tell me. Uh, when you need to change the password, you need to send back something to say the password needs to be changed, it's not valid. And that was the part that was not supported, or at least uh, for some configuration. I do not have the details for more than, uh, well, I do not have the details yet. I can search uh, later. But, okay, uh, thanks. Uh, was this related to the uh, password policy, or? Uh, no, I'm not sure. I think we didn't have a password policy in the beginning. Then we right. started to add one to, uh, f to have a rather, uh, to have a stronger password. Uh, I'm not sure how it's enforced. Uh, I think it should be enforced on the LDAP side because uh, people can uh, directly use the uh, LDAP from command line, so there is no need to use it. Uh, there is no, it's uh, not wise to put it on the web interface. I mean, uh, in day job, I used uh, a lot of PHP and, and uh, LDAP integration with passwords, but I didn't have any expiring passwords, so that could be related. Well, uh, I think you can, uh, again, you can ask to work on IRC, yeah. and it will explain if, yeah. if he is available, because which is the main problem. Yeah, <laughs> if he is available, indeed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyone else? Just a quick question: This this uh, Perl software is it is it not basically an LDAP editor? Yes, but uh, we wanted to. It's not a LDAP edit. Well, it's written like uh, LDAP editor, but a LDAP editor is not something that we want. I think basically letting people edit every field is a good thing for that. But I think that we should have an overlay over that that would uh, restrict. For example, several people had a problem with SSH key because they can upload their SSH key, but they uh, strip the type of the key and then it doesn't work. So they say, okay, I cannot connect. They ask to the sysadmin, the sysadmin uh, check uh, the log, the log says the key is not good and so on. And we lose time because we cannot add much validation on this part. So that's what I wanted to do is uh, add a more user-friendly interface uh, I do not know if I have internet access, I can show you the current interface and yeah, that's a LDAP editor, but that's not really what we want. Okay. That's really what we have. And is it uh, open source? And yeah, produced? it's uh, published. Uh, everything we do is published from the Puppet configuration to the, to the source code we write because uh, if we start to do some, well, there is, we are an association. Uh, there is no real reason to hide anything and uh, if we don't publish a thing, we cannot expect people to discover how it works. And uh, if they cannot uh, learn, they cannot uh, replace uh, when we want to change, uh, when we want to grow the team or if we want to leave the project, we cannot expect people to discover by them themselves. Some will, but uh, most will not. So we have to publish so they can uh, take their time and do everything. Thank you. Uh, a, question, a question about uh, OpenID. Right. Uh, was it 
Um, is it uh, thinkable to provide open ID uh, service by service? Maybe. You mean an open ID consumer? Uh, yes, open ID consumer for mm. maybe for the blog. It may be more uh, usable for the blog than for other systems which are not uh, web related. Uh, in fact, uh, the main problem I have with open ID is that uh, if we start to let people using an account from another database than ours, we still have uh, we still need to say uh, this account where we do not uh, have any information need to do something. So we have to we have the account database on our side, and yeah. there is another account database on the other side, and we cannot guarantee anything about the security of the password and stuff like that. So imagine if I say uh, this person can uh, access to uh, the web interface to sign uh, the ISO or something like that. I cannot check that your password is strong enough. And um, for me, it's not, it's a no-go. We can use it for consumer-related uh, yes. project like uh, commenting on blog, mm -hmm. but not for something which needs to be part of the project. I mean, we want people who participate in the project to have an account on our database. And uh, that's uh, the main goal. For everything, that's not a problem. If people want to post a blog or stuff mm. like that, post a comment on a blog, yeah. But not for uh, something that represents us. I'm not sure if I'm clear. Yes. So, so uh, enabling uh, OpenID for uh, some uh, website or uh, some web related and only for commenting or not uh, things uh, representing uh, Majaya. Yeah. Basically, every, everything that we want to be able to be edited anonymously could be could use OpenID. Yes. For the rest, where we want to have some uh, control or stuff like that, we cannot. As yes, the OpenID provider instead of just the OpenID consumer. Yeah. OK, thank you. No more questions? Oh, OK. Bye. Uh, so thanks for coming. Uh, if you have any questions that you do not want to ask, uh, well, uh, uh, there is a movie and stuff like that, uh, we can ask on the, the booth in the other building. And if not, I can be found uh, on IRC, on mailing list, uh, on everywhere. You can try to say my name uh, when you are looking at the mirror. I might appear, but usually it doesn't work. But yeah, thanks you.